Hello everybody and welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install EUP Emergency Uniforms Pack 9.3. So we're going to get this inside your game. Thank you all for coming by and watching. If you are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. Get you guys in here so you get some amazing uniforms with inside your game. So you can patrol and have some fun. So the very first thing that you guys are going to want to do is you guys want open IV. Make sure you guys have open IV. For those of you that have open IV, go ahead and skip ahead. And for those of you that don't, I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, I'll leave the links to every single thing that we're going to download down in the bottom in the description. Um, so what you want to do is go to open IV, go ahead and click download now. And we're going to go ahead and open this file up. We're going to go to English, hit continue. We're going to go I accept to the terms of this agreement. Click continue, click continue one more time. That's going to put it on your desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and let that install. What you're going to want to do is go to wherever you got your GTA 5 from. I got mine through Steam. So you're going to want to go to Steam um, and then go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, hit manage and browse local files. What this is going to do is pull up your GTA 5 main directory. Inside your GTA 5 main directory, you're going to want to create a mods folder, okay, if you do not have one. So right click over here, go to new and create a new folder. Name it all lowercase letters M O D S for mods. Okay. Once you're done doing that and you create your mods folder, you're going to want to take this update folder, right click, click copy, and then go to your mods folder and go inside the mods folder. And you should have nothing in here. What you're going to want to do is right click and click paste. Okay. Once you click paste, it's going to take a little while for them files to go in there, but it helps you out and it uh, prevents you from, you know, corrupting your files. So just make sure you guys do that. Once that's all done, we have open IV. Um, what we're going to do is open that up. So I'm going to go um, to type here to search and we're going to go ahead and click open IV. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, click Windows right here. And it wants to know your Grand Theft Auto 5 location, which will be your GTA 5 main directory. So this is my location. So if you look up here at the top where my cursor is, this is the exact location of where my GTA 5 main directory is. So you want to follow your route to where yours is. So mine, what I'm going to do is open up open IV right here. I'm going to click browse and I'm going to follow what it tells me to do. And you follow yours exactly how it tells you to get to your GTA 5 main directory. So mine says drive E. So I'm going to go drive E, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then right here, we have Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to click on it once. I'm not going to go inside the folder. I'm going to select folder. And you should get some green lettering right here. As long as you have a legit copy of GTA 5 and it can find out where it is, you'll have green lettering right here that says Open 4 can work with this file. I'm going to click Continue. Click Continue. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. So once this is all open up, we're going to start installing stuff. So what we want to do is we're going to install... So if you look at this page right here, Emergency Uniforms Pack EUP, if you scroll down, you're going to have two main files right here that you really want. You want and you have to have. So it's EUP menu, then you also have serve and rescue. So we're going to download that and then we're also going to download EUP itself. So what we're going to start off with is EUP menu. So I'm going to click download this file. I'm going to click agree and download. What EUP menu does is it pop down the menu so you can go ahead and switch through your uniforms, whatever agency you're choosing. And we'll show you that later on in the game. So I just download EUP menu. If you guys do not have anything to open up your zip files, whether it's 7-Zip or it's WinRAR, which I use WinRAR, I highly recommend in, you know going to WinRAR. I'll link it down in the description. I use X64, um, depending on what your PC has. I use X64. I download this to my PC, and um, this is how I open up my zip files. So we just downloaded EUP menu. So I'm going to go to downloads and we're going to go ahead and open that file. For those of you that just downloaded WinRAR for your, you know, to open up your files, just go ahead, type here to search, go to downloads, click on downloads, right click on EUP menu and open with WinRAR or go down here and it says open with WinRAR. So you're going to want to go ahead and open with WinRAR just like this. We're going to go to files and we are going to stay right here. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my GTA 5 main directory, just like this. We're going to have that right there, and then we're going to go right here where it says plugins and Rage Native UI. So Rage Native UI is out of date, okay? So do not install that. Rage Native UI is out of date. What you want to do is go to your web browser. I'll link it down in the description. Um, Rage Native UI, we're going to go right here. 
We're going to go to this very top one. I'll link it down in the description. What you guys want to do is go to this very top one right here, ragenativeui.zip. Okay, you're going to want to go ahead and download that. That's going to be the most updated one right there, February 5th. I'm going to go ahead and click this, and we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, and again, this stuff will be linked down in the description to make it easier for all of you. So what we're going to do is go to our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to grab our EUP menu, and the EUP menu is going to go inside the plugins folder. So make sure you're not clicked on any folder. If you are, it should be highlighted blue like mine is. Just click over here to the side, just like this. Click over here to the side. Now, what you want to do is take this EUP menu plugins folder. You want to take that and drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory, just like so. It's going to ask me to replace the files and destination. I'm going to go ahead and replace it for you guys. So you go inside your plugins folder, you'll have an EUP folder, and you'll see all this stuff right here. Um, so now what we're going to do is go to Rage Native UI. We're going to take these two files right here. We are going to go ahead and drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. Replace the files and destination. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that for you. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and install EUP itself. So we're going to download this file. We're going to go to the OIV file. Okay. It's a lot easier and makes it easier for you. We're going to click download on this. Okay. So we're going to click download on this. And then we're also going to download the server and rescue. So this is going to be for EMS, lifeguard, um, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and download this also. So I'm going to click download on OIV. And we're going to let both of them download. While we are doing that, we're going to go to OpenIV itself. And inside OpenIV, you're going to get this video right here. You don't really need to watch it. If you want to watch it, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm going to click no thanks. What I'm going to do is enlarge this. And we're going to go through some stuff in here. So what you guys want to do is go to tools, go to ASI manager. Make sure all these are green, okay? So make sure you install all three of these, just like I have them installed. Once you're done installing them, go ahead and click close here. Go up here to the top, hit edit mode, click yes. All right, so we have um, EUP Law and Order downloading right now, and then we also have EUP Server and Rescue that's already been downloaded. You want to do Law and Order first. You do not want to do Server and Rescue first because it, it causes problems with the um, download with the files. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. So we're going to install Law and Order first, and then once we're done installing that, we'll go ahead and move on to Server and Rescue. And then what we'll do is go ahead and hop inside the game and show you guys how to use EUP. So let's go ahead. This is about 17 seconds, so we got 15 seconds left. We're going to let that go through and we'll go over here. We're going to keep our downloads page up right here. And what we're going to do is once that is done downloading, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop over there. So it is done right there. Okay. So we're going to click downloads again. It should be in there. So we're going to go law and order. You'll see where it says LO. I'll enlarge this for you. It'll say LO right there, 8.3. It's supposed to say 9.3, but it's 8.3. Um, it's a mistype on the uh, creator's end, but it is 8.3. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file right here, and we are going to drag it to OpenIV right here. So we're just going to drag it just right there. And this is going to be the package installer. So what you want to do is just go ahead and click install. And install it into your mods folder. Do not do it in the game folder because you'll corrupt files. Don't do that. So we're going to go to the mods folder. We're going to click it right there. Click install. And we're going to let that install right there. Let it keep going. Let it keep going. And it is installing. What you're going to want to also install is script hook V. So I'm going to go ahead and go with script hook V. So you're going to want to install that also. So we'll go ahead and move over to that once this is done. So that is done right there. We're going to go to open IV again. We're going to go back to our downloads and now we're going to install serve and rescue. So we'll make sure that that works also. So let's drag and drop serve and rescue. And it's going to ask us to install. We'll go ahead and install that into our mods folder. Click install just like so and let that install right there. So I am going to go grab the link real fast for script hook V. So give me one second. So we got script hook V right here. I'll link this down in the description to make sure you guys have script hook V. What you guys want to do is you're going to click download on this. We're going to go ahead and let that download right there. It isn't downloaded. And what we're going to do is go inside the bin folder. And what you want to do is take these three files right here. 
you're going to drag and drop these into your GTA 5 main directory. So just like this, drag and drop these three into your GTA 5 main directory. Once you're done installing them and everything is installed right here, so everything's good, we're going to click close on this. And now what we're going to do is we are going to open up GTA. That is correct, guys. It is that fast, that simple to install EUP now. And I am going to go ahead and open up GTA 5. I want to show you guys how to open up the EUP menu. One thing I will inform you is, so I'm going to show you exactly what I do and how I do it with my files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on Rage Plugin Hook. As soon as it opens up, I'm going to hit the gear icon. So as soon as it opens up, I'm going to hit this gear icon right here. And what this is going to allow me to do is go inside the files. So right here. So um, a lot of people recommend plugin uh, plug timeout threshold about 60,000. Um, that gives more time for your PC to go ahead and load them up. So I would recommend if you have a lower um, end PC to put this to 60,000. I'm going to keep mine where it is because I like the way that it is. It opens up quicker. Um, that's because my PC is able to load up stuff really quick. Um, now, I will inform you of this. So I do have a lot of plugins and mods and stuff. And a certain plugin could cause your game to crash on startup. And it, it, it could just be like a, a minor lag spike or whatever it is, and it just causes your game to crash. What I recommend for anybody that plays LSP to far is don't load any plugins on startup. It makes it where your game just starts up the way that it's supposed to start up, and you can manually open up LSP to far yourself while you're inside the game. So don't load any plugins on startup, and we're going to go ahead and hit save and launch and hop inside the game real fast to show you what EUP looks like. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so now that we're inside GTA 5, what you guys are going to want to do since you are, if you did don't load any plugins on startup, you want to hit F4, you want to type in reload all plugins, and then you're going to hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter right here. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to load up. It does take a couple seconds. Um, but as we go through this, once everything loads up right here, on your first time loading up, it may crash on you. Uh, but just go ahead and do this step one more time. But what we're going to do is as soon as this is loaded up and again it does take a couple seconds we're going to walk you through the eup menu how to open it up and we're going to sort of show you how to save uniforms um because a lot of people have that problem where they don't really know how to work the menus so right now we are loading up and we have there we go so that just popped in now what we're going to type in is force duty so we're going to type in force duty always one word hit enter and then we're going to let everything load up right here. You're going to look over to the left. You're going to see all my plugins load up. Um, when you look through there, you're going to see, you're going to see EUP, Law and Order. Then you're also going to see Serve and Rescue, okay? So we'll let them load up real fast. Again, it does take a couple seconds. I have a shitload of plugins in here. Um, so what we're going to do is if you guys hit the F11 on your keyboard, it's going to pull up your EUP menu. Again, I'm going to wait for these plugins to get the hell out of the way so we can show you guys the menu. It does take a couple seconds, and you should see what's inside that menu. Um, well, inside all the plugins that are loading up, you should see EUP, Law and Order, and also Server and Rescue. So letting that all go through. You may see that I'm on a uh, previous version of LSPDFR, and that's because I don't update for a while. And LSPDFR after GTA 5's update recently just been updated, so I haven't updated it just yet. So you'll see that right there. Um, so it looks like everything is loaded in, so we can actually go through this menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit F11. And if you go to Law and Order, you could just go through each uniform. So you can go through all these uniforms right here. You have the coats, you have all the good stuff in here. Um, we also have Metro Division for K9, all that good stuff. And then we have the Sheriff, the Los Santos Sheriff, and then Detective Division. So you have all these uniforms right here. We have BCSO for Blaine County Sheriff's Office. So you can see all them right there. So there you have it. You have EUP with inside your game. So say you wanted to change, you know, your uniform and I'll go with a uniform that I always use. So I'm going to hit F11. I'm going to go to wardrobe. I'm going to go all the way up. Actually, not wardrobe. I'm going to go law and order. I'm going to go all the way up to control division and go to polo. 
So this is the one that I like to use. Now I use Simple Trainer, but you can also still use the actual menu for EUP. So you could go to wardrobe, you could go down to create outfit. And what you could do is go through here and change their hat up. So find a hat that you like. You can go ahead and change the arms up. You can find the uh, duty belt right here under undercoat. And you can also go to top, change your top up. If you don't like it, you can, while you're, while you're on it, sorry, um, while you're on it, you could go ahead and change the textures up by four and six. So you can see it's FIB. If I keep hitting six to the right, it's going to switch throughout the actual uniforms. So we're going to stick with police right here. Uh, then I'm going to go to, let's go to pants. So I'm going to go to pants. I'm going to change the color of them and just put them on black. So we'll put black right here. Let's see if I have a darker one. I should. Nope, I guess that's the darkest one. So we'll go with the black right here and go down to the bottom. Hit, we're gonna actually go to the top. Always make sure you create a name. So I'm just gonna name this PD Polo. I didn't know I had cap locks on, but PD Polo. I'll actually change that. PD Polo, hit enter, hit save and continue. So say I'm going through here and we also have server and rescue in here. So yeah, fire services, bunker pants, all that good stuff right here. We are gonna go to, so we just saved that uniform. So say we were just using a different uniform. We wanna go back to our uniform that you know we're using, that we wanna use. We're gonna go right here. You wanna go to wardrobe, hit enter, go to the, you know, you'll see it in here, a whole list of them. Um, go to PD Polo, and it will spawn our uniform back in. So there you guys go. You have uniforms. You can now save them. EUP is now within inside your game. And I really do appreciate you all coming by. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Again, help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That would be absolutely amazing. I really appreciate it. And uh, also do me that one favor. Smash that like button if this helped you out. And we'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace.